morning boys and girls hope you are all fine and hope all of you have your bible and notebook welcome to our service sunday school service saint christopher's church um, last sunday teacher alitufunza kuzaliwa kwa moses but today we are going to learn about god made us able to do good things for him but before that let us pray Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we come before you, dear Lord Jesus. We worship you, we honor you, and we glorify your holy name. Father, forgive us because we are a sinners, my heavenly Father. And if we say we have not sinned, we make you a liar. Father, forgive us and have mercy, and let your spirit guide us and lead us. Thank you, Jesus, for this morning. As we listen to your word, dear Lord Jesus, we pray for your Holy Spirit to guide us and to direct us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us say, Amen. Yeah. So, last Sunday, Ticha alifunza, Moses amezaliwa, mpaka dota wa farao, akamchukua, akaka na yeye kama mtoto wake. But Moses ali grew up. But one thing I want you to know, the one who raised him was his real mother. Because dota wa farao alitafuta mwe maid, mwenye tamlea, but good luck, because it was the plan of God, akampata mama ya Moses, akamnans, akamkuza, then akamfunza mambo ya Mungu. Akamfunza vile wa Israel wanatakana wa muombe Mungu, vile uh, wa Israel wanampenda Mungu, then akaendelea kukua akijua hizo vitu zote kuwa yeye ni mwi Israel. The mother told him the real story what happened to him. Then akajua kuwa yeye ni mwi Israel the other word of israel is hebrews then aka aka akamwambia aka akamwambia kuwa wewe ni mu, ni, mu, ni mu israel cause niliona watu walikuwa nauliwa nikakuchukua nikakuweka kwa bucket ukaenda kwa maji then daughter of farao akakuona akakuchukua but i want to ask you a question if you had to do you had to give a speech to, to a big crowd. Hey, how would you feel? Hey, let us hear from the word of God today. Because one day Moses went around to check the people who are working there, the slaves, his fellow Israelites, and saw one Egyptian, a soldier, beating an, an Israelites. He beat akamchapa akamchapa mpaka akamuua then Moses hakufurahi akasema hey i will do something akaangalia around huko around huko then akamshika the soldier akampiga mpaka na yeye akamuua then akamfinika akamchimbia kaburi akamzika after that aka akafikiria hakuonekana but kumbe alionekana then Romans ikaenda paka kwa farao then Moses akasema here now Hey, I'm in danger. Then he ran away. He went far away at a place called Midian, where he met he met with a uh, Jethro, the one who took care of his sheep and goats. He was a shepherd there. But suddenly, one one day, something strange happened. He went to the bush to take care of the the sheep of the sheep. There, then he went near the hill, a big mountain. Then he saw a burning bush. And then he said, what is this? Then he went closer, went closer. But before he reached there, God told him, Moses, take out your sandals because he, you are standing at the holy place. Then Moses took out his sandals and then went closer. Then God told, called him. Moses, I want to send you to the Egypt to take my people out there and give, and I want to give them a new home to live because I've heard their cry. Walikuwa wanateswa, wanachapwa, wamekuwa ni watumwa, wanafanya kazi ngumu. Then Mungu akasikia cry yao. Then Moses akasema, hey, apana, huko nilimes, huko niliua. 
aya mamadara nikifika huko pia wataniua cause walikuwa wanalifuata but god akasema i will be with you then moses akamwambia hey i'm afraid I'm afraid wa Israel pia hawata ni believe kwao menituma akamwambia so what do you have in your hands akamwambia i have a staff then he threw he god told him to throw the staff down then he threw it and it turned to into a snake then akamwambia take the, your staff alishochukua ikarudi ikakuwa staff then akamwambia akamwambia bado alikuwa anaogopa akamwambia take your hands in then alivotoa ilikuwa na lepros lepros is a skin disease then akamwambia take it back then ikakuwa healed then akamwambia ukifika huko utaonyesha that signs then wataku believe kuwa nimekutuma after that akasema hapana then Moses akasema hapana alikuwa anaogopa anaona yeye hawezi akamwambia hapana si hataweza kwenda huko akamwambia mimi ni stamara stamara ni mtu mwenye anaongea ki nini anaongea pengine oh 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 haongei vizuri hivyo hayuko fluent then akamwambia mimi ndio nilikuumba i created you and i know you and i want to use you because god al insist kwa anataka kumtumia moses then moses akamwambia eh hey, mimi nituma mtu mwingine then god akamwambia Aaron atakufuata mtaenda pamoja kwa farao mwambie let my people go then Moses akasema okay sawa basi cause alikuwa amepata company ya yeah? Aaron then after that aka wa, akaenda so Moses akakubali kutumwa na Mungu so our lesson today God has made us all in different ways. Mungu ametuumba sisi tofauti. He made God made us in a unique way. Hatuko sawa sawa na watu wengine. Maybe wewe uko mzuri kwa kuimba, yule mwingine yuko mzuri kwa ku play guitar, mwingine ako mzuri kwa ku play drums. Zote hizo ni talents God ametupea. So usianze kujidharau ukaona huwezi, unaweza ukifanya practice. Ukisema God help me, Mungu anakuwezesha. Mungu ana, ametuwezesha na anajua kuwa tuwanyonge. Hatuwezi bila yeye. So tukiwa na Mungu upande wetu atatuwezesha. Mungu alikuwa upande wa Moses, akamwambia Moses and Egypt kwa wa wana Israel hata Mungu akiwa pande wetu tunaweza kufanya anything anything uh, second because God made us he is able to help us to do what he asks us to yeah anaweza kutusaidia hata sisi kufanya anything kwa sababu kama alimsaidia Moses and Aaron hata sisi pia anaweza kutusaidia kufanya vivyo hivyo cause God ametuumba sisi in a special way tunaweza tukaimba tuka, tuka tukaimba tukanini kwanza tunaweza kuimba hata mimi ni muimbaji napenda kuimba wacha ni tuimbe huu wimbo bwana asema ni mtume nani 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 atakaye kwenda badala yangu nani nani atakaye kwenda badala yangu ni tume mi mi bwana 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 yes usijidharau ukajiona ati ni mdogo i can't do this especially shuleni mathi huwa inakuwa ni ngumu but kama uku, mungu yuko upande wako kama umem accept jesus in your life una, una, unajua jesus alishinda hata mauti hata we unaweza kufanya hiyo mathi na ukapita kwa sababu the word of god is telling us we are a head not a tail so don't usijidharau ukajiona hati huwezi unaweza so, um, That is the end of our lesson but we have our memory verse here which it is comes from Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 it says God has made us what we are in our union with Christ Jesus he has created us for a life of good deeds which he has already prepared for us to do yeah hii inatuelezea kila kitu mungu ametuumba sisi in a special way anatuwezesha 
Jesus akiwa ndani yetu tunaweza kufanya anything cause tunaomba Jesus help us guide us and lead us na Jesus atatupatia wisdom knowledge and understanding on how to do those things on how to do the work of God because God wants to work for him as he told Moses he told us to do his work too because we can do it because God created us in his purpose he want us to work for him he want us to do his work he want us to worship him to pray to praise him to read his word everything that God want us is to have fellowship with him and we can do it because God is in us and that is the end of our lesson let us pray may the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen